<laughs> so it's here. So it's the end of the race, and uh, guess what I got? I got a finisher pin. Yeah. Okay. So there you go, man. The light be finished. One <laughs> a hair scrabble. Okay. <laughs> Barely. Okay. I'm pretty sure we placed pretty bad, but at least we finished, man. Uh, I had all sorts of problems, and uh, I mean that's what happens during a race, man. But dude, in the uh, in the first lap, there was this section where there was just a lot of mud, and and then I, I kind of I kind of spun out, and then a guy like crashed behind me, man. And then he the NXT display broke, and uh, what else? The NXT display broke, and and then my light switch broke. My light switch is gone. Boof. Poof. I gotta get a new one. So that sucks. So now I got no lights on my bike, and then the NXT display mount broke broke off. So. I had to like I had to shove it behind the number plate the whole race. So, uh, so you know I, I told myself, hey, why don't you? Uh, I told myself to bring this uh, freaking silicone tape here. Okay, I got the silicone tape here. Where is it? Oh, right here. Well, I had a, I have a fresh pack of silicone tape, but I told myself to bring this stuff. If I had a I had a feeling that NXT display was going to bust off and it sure sure enough it did on the first lap okay it's not it's not really my fault somebody hit my bike you know and we crashed really bad so um but yeah so i had that problem the light switch broke off my fender broke like totally broke so i guess that's it for that guy maybe i'll just cut it even more i'll cut it right here <laughs> okay so um the number plate on this side broke I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> it just... <laughs> I have no idea how this broke like this, man. But yeah, I spent a lot of time to do that, to, to make that, and uh, it's broken now. So, kind of sad. And I have to take those numbers. Well, I guess I don't have to take that number off because it's just kind of, you know, hanging there. Um, <laughs> they're like, hey, you need to get some better numbers. It's like, well, my bike is so small, you know. But uh, yeah, see, I got the white background with the black numbers like they wanted. Um, so once okay, we so, got separated from the pack, dude, like my, my face is like mud and dirt. I got, I got roosted on like big time today, man. But yeah, once, uh, once freaking, uh, um, but once we got out of the pack, you know, well, and, uh, and like, you know, we were just riding by ourselves. It was fun. I, I enjoyed it. Um, we passed a couple people. There were some people, you know, people weren't so fast, you know. Um, hopefully I, I didn't get any blisters here again. I guess we'll find out when I pull the pull L band-aid off here. Ow! Well, it's not bleeding. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's fine. Sort of, kind of. It kind of worked. All right, cool. Yeah, I had really bad problems with blisters. So, as you can see, the light speed battery is uh, right here, and it's not in the bike because I'm using the Soron battery right now. Okay. So I had to do. I got to do one lap with the Soron battery. Um, yeah, so there's the finisher pin. We did it. We made it, man. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, so I, I, I had another problem. Uh, the next problem was... Uh, <laughs> the other problem was uh, uh, the chain came off. The chain came off when, on one of the jumps, okay? So I've had this problem with this bike. I don't know. I, it must be maybe it has to do with the 62 sprocket or something. The chain will derail itself on some, when, it, when it gets a lot of air, you know? And that's why you can see it's a lot of, it's really, the, the swing arm is all scratched up and stuff. I had to like put the chain back on. Good thing the, the front sprocket, the, the chain stayed on the front sprocket though. So that was good. Um, yeah, I, we may have bent the sprocket too. I will have to check it out when we go home. Uh, man, this bike got beat the hell up, man. But, uh, but, but yeah, um, so, so the, the second to the last lap, the, the battery ran out of power. I was like, oh no. Uh, we were literally like on the on the last stretch almost, you know, and I had to like kind of push the bike to the finish line almost. I, I pushed the bike. They told me like, oh, you got to push the bike over there, get swap your battery, then you got to go back. You got to ride back to where you came out. So that was the part where the jumps were. So, so I had to, I pulled the battery out. <laughs> I pulled the battery out and then, and then uh, we, uh, we, we, I, I walked over to the pit area and <laughs> we swapped the battery. Uh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, we, we swapped the battery, and then I put the battery in the bike, and then, uh, freaking, uh, 
I have to reprogram the NXT display. It's, uh, see, uh, this is a real pain in the ass, man. I, I, I don't, don't want to do this anymore. Uh, I have to get another uh, light speed battery, man. Uh, we need just to run 72 volts. Um, also, another thing I found out is, uh, so we were using the Suron battery. It can't handle 5,000 watts. It like it just cuts out. So, I, and I knew that. I knew that. I knew I didn't want to use this battery, but uh, the problem was a uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, I had to use the Suron battery for the last lap. Uh, almost like if I'm telling you, if I had changed the battery a lap before, it would have been all good. Because we still have 80% of charge in this battery, man. So we could have ripped on it a little more. Uh, okay, I tell you this, with less power, it's a lot easier to ride. I was like, you know, the, the lot, I, I could just like, you know, carry speed through the turns. When there's a lot of power, you you can't use it all. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, man. Like, uh, it, it beats you up. It, it really doesn't like it, you know. Um, so I think for dirt races, it might be good to limit the power. Don't, you know, we don't need all that much power. The only thing I need power for is like a hill climb, and there's really no hill climbs here. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, with the Suron battery, I knew the sand section was going to be tough because you need a lot of power in the sand section, and I was like paddling through it. It was freaking horrible. But once we got past the sand section, everything else was a piece of cake, man. Um, it's really easy to ride with a lot less power. Um, you just flow through the turns a lot better. You know, you're not, you don't feel like you're going too fast. Um, I felt like I was going too hot into a lot of the turns. You know. But, uh, but yeah, that was a that was a fun uh, fun course. Uh, I've never. <laughs> it's like a it's like a constant motocross course. Is what it is. It's freaking nuts, dude. Um, but uh, but yeah, so I gotta fix the bike for the next race next week <laughs> because it's 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 in bad shape right now. Um, I might just keep the dirt bike wheels on it for now. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, I bet you I'm the only one with the electric bike out there and one with the plate. <laughs> okay, here's the stats. Um, Sorry, I've been kind of sitting sitting here chatting for a while. Um, let's put this up. Uh, we hit a max speed at 37 miles an hour, okay? 37 miles an hour. We had a trip odometer of 21.5, okay? We did 20, 21 miles. The bike should have been able to do it, okay? I'm not gonna lie, the bike should have been able to, to finish that, but I guess, you know, I was getting on it too much. <laughs> I told you to not go too fast, man. <laughs> We had a moving average of 13.5 miles an hour. Uh, moving time, one hour, 35 minutes. So yeah, the, the, the race was an hour and 30 minutes. So exactly. I don't remember how many laps I did. I, I must have done around five, I think. <laughs> Somewhere around five. Um, I, I bet some people did six. And then I've been kind of whatever for two hours. So so that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully we got the, a lot of the, the last part. But um, yeah, dude. We got beat up pretty bad. These District 36 races are no joke, man. <laughs> we got passed left and right, man. But but I had a lot of fun. The, the course was okay, but man, it, it just beat this bike up. Um, yeah, I need like a bigger bike. <laughs> this bike is like too small for that stuff. But, uh, and it, it's hard to ride with a lot of power, as I noticed. So if maybe we dial the power back a little bit, you know. Um, I don't think we got any controller overheating issues. I think I think everything was fine. So, so we went through that whole battery, okay, the light speed battery, and then we got 80% left on the solar battery, okay, um, and it's set at like 2,000 watts. It's literally riding, I was riding it in eco mode pretty much, <laughs> okay, uh, that sucks, dude. It was hella slow, but like I said, it was easier to ride because it was slow, so maybe, maybe like, you know, kill some uh, I might do a AAR when I come home, but uh, yeah, so I gotta, I gotta get on home <laughs> I got a long I got a long drive to go all right here we go all right hey it's me here so I'm about ready to head home man this place is rad I've never been here riverfront motocross park that's one thing I like about racing you know you get to go ride different places ladies man kind of gets bored of riding the same places all the time but this place was freaking awesome there's like a big sand section in the back there and all these jumps and stuff um, yeah, I wish the I wish the light beat handled the jumps a little bit better. I mean, it, it does, but but like I had to tell myself, don't get excited and jump in a lot. So anyway, um, the uh, we didn't um, they didn't have the results. Their printer broke, so we're gonna have to check it online. So we're gonna go check out the website. So so um, when I get home, we'll go check out the website. <laughs> All right, here's we got.